What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and we are here checking out the gorgeous game Euphoria, released this week for the PlayStation Network, previously available on the PC, and this game is something, I think, pretty special. Um, it shares its soul, I would say, with games like Flower, with games like Pixel Junk Eden, not because they have the same mechanics, but because they bring forth the same kind of emotion within me, they, you know, they're calming, they bring put a smile on my face, they, they're artistically appeasing, they're auditorially you know, appeasing, and, and they, they feed my ears and feed my feed my eyes, and it's something that I enjoy playing, you know, I've been playing Rage and Dark Souls, and in between those super intense experiences, like, you kind of want a break, or maybe at night you want something to just kind of chill out to, and it, it relaxes me, and I, and it's not like, you know, it's it's sending drugs through your brain, but it's just like the whole the whole style of the game, which is, is kind of a mini RTS, um, and it offers interesting and engaging enough gameplay to keep you hooked, but still brings that, that kind of fourth element that you might not get from from your major triple-a title that is something just i don't know it's just really it's affecting it's unique and different and calming and, and i really appreciate it about euphoria basically what we got going on here is we got these seedlings flying around that look like little birds or little i don't know helicopter nature bud thingamabobs and they uh they plant themselves via these or they birth themselves rather via these trees on these asteroids and so you can think of the asteroids as kind of your barracks or your buildings and then the trees are sort of your production units um, that they're going to produce more of these seedlings which are your your army your, your warriors they're going to go out for your 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 missions i guess your i guess maybe it'd be better to say your asteroids bases production building than the seedlings are your your army and we're going to send them off to try to conquer the universe basically which exists on one simple screen they have made they've given you a great look at the entire galaxy right here or actually just this part of the galaxy but what we're going to do here you can see that each asteroid has different strength energy speed and different amount of trees so when i plant more trees um, that allows more seedlings to grow more quickly so my first kind of thing i always like to do is plant more seeds um, and put them out there and then what you're going to do is send them out to kind of journey forth and capture more territory basically to take on more and more of the the asteroid field and to capture more and they didn't make it hyper 3d and they didn't make it hyper detailed but it's almost as if the subtlety of the art contributes to the calming effect contributes to the mellow nature contributes to the sort of zen feel of what we got going on here and you know i don't think it's anywhere near the same game as flower or pixel junk eaten or even it shares some slight similarities with shattered just in the way that it subtly uses audio and, and visuals to kind of bring forth some emotion within you but it doesn't have to share gameplay to be in the same category as those games which is again like i said something that's really affecting so what we're going to try to do here is plant some trees and basically take on the other asteroids you may find defenses on other asteroids you may find enemies you may find repul repulsion trees or things that kind of try to send you back um, i've activated the speed up here just to keep this video moving at a solid pace but you can play at the normal pace which you can see the speed of the seedlings and if i speed it up they move quicker um and, and some of the missions are pretty long so i may recommend um, adding this uh speed boost um, at least for some of the ones where it, it's bigger, but we're producing seeds here um, I can keep building trees, which is what I'm gonna do and eventually then I will start Venturing forth and sending them out to all these other other planets. Um, it is available for 10 bucks on PlayStation Network and I believe there's a deal for PlayStation Plus members where it's only $7.99 um, Right now and I definitely think it's worth it. There's a lot of different modes. Um, this is the main campaign mode and again, it's something that you really want to crank up the volume. The volume, it's a little bit, it's a, bit, a little bit quiet on the audio. But once, like you, I, I feel like they almost did that on purpose to make you turn your TV up way loud, so it can really just kind of, really kind of just get in your brain and really kind of get to you and really, like I said, have that affecting, affecting spirit or that affecting ability that that most games don't. Um, and we're sending you can send as many seeds or as few seeds as you want. Right now, what I kind of like to do is push as many forward as I can early on. Cleared out some enemies. You can see some dark enemies are kind of chilling out here. You can see these guys. We zoom in. Um, they're kind of mixing, intermingling with our good guys, and we kind of shattered them right there and poofed them. Um, I don't know if these are birds or planes or I guess they're seedlings, but they, they kind of remind me of birds. And these trees, I'll show you if I plant a new one here. They they generate themselves, I think, procedurally on their own. Um, so we've got 49 here. It takes 10 to plant a tree. And a plant a tree, and as it's growing here, there's bursts of color plant takes its own life. If I plant another, you'll see that it, it takes its own path and it connects to the core of the planet um, or the asteroid, but it looks different and they grow in their own way. And I, you know, like I said, I love Rage. I love Dark Souls, but 
there it's just it's, it's a different kind of experience if you're looking for something that could be affecting that could be calming that could really just say hey this is totally different than anything i have right now i i, I can't recommend this enough um, and so we're going to take on this mission here and start sending as whoops start sending as many of our seedlings forward as we can because these are basically our our last line defenses but also kind of serve as our main producers and you'll notice that they're going to have the most seedlings on them and if this is at all confusing don't worry, I was hyper confused when I first started. I was like, I don't know what this game is. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't even understand how it's an RTS. But it is. And it will reveal itself to you very quickly um, if you're a little bit patient. And uh, give it a couple missions to kind of get itself going. Uh, we're going to send quite a few 112 seedlings as we go and blow up a little dark dark guy, a uh, gray guy. And then we'll uh, overtake this planet and we can quickly build more and more trees. I'll plant three right away. Um, I've amassed like 250 or 300 on, on a planet before. It's just like a crazy sight. I mean, this one's pretty good. As you can see, they're all flying around. But imagine, you know, quadrupling this number. And then you have mass chaos and mass insanity brewing. A little asteroid. And they did a nice job of fitting everything into one screen. So it seems mundane. It seems simple. But it seems like really zen. And as you zoom in, it gets more chaotic. And I, I like that. That If you want to see it sort of as this fast-paced, oh my god, what's going on game, you can do that. Or if you want to play it really at a very sort of zoomed out god-like level um, and just kind of move your seedlings around you can do that as well we'll send 82 at this tiny planet here and see what it has in store for us today which is nothing it's a it's a, it's a lone planet kind of got lucky here haven't encountered anything too terrible yet um, but i'm gonna keep planting seeds as you can see my back my back planets are producing quite a bit here um, and so i'm gonna start sending them forward which is kind of my what i like to do keep them keep pushing our units towards the front lines because that's where we're going to face resistance. We're not going to ever have guys really come back and attack us in the behind. At least I haven't had that happen to me yet. Um, so if we go take out some of these small planets first, we can build up a base basically by which to conquer the big giant here guy which is the one I'm worried about. The one in the middle here um, who's larger than any other asteroid in the field of view and so I'm guessing he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Um, we'll push all our guys here and there. I'll take these guys and put them down here. And basically what I'm going to do in a second here is I'm going to have everybody move from these two planets here. And we're all going to take on the big guy. You can see a couple enemies there, but 70, 70 seedlings, 69 seedlings is going to easily overtake one little enemy. Um, so I feel like we've got a decent force. 73 and 72. 100. Well, jump to 78. Never mind. 82. I was going to do some quick calculator math there for you, but actually now we have what? We've got... Ah! We have 83 and 73, so we've got a lovely 150 sixer. Um, and we'll send all these at once to attack here. Whoops. No, 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 no. Right here. There we go. All right. So, fly careful, little seedling. These defense trees are dangerous. They release explosive pods that follow us. I'm not sure where these guys are going some weird way. They took a alternate route, apparently, to get there, but... We've got some nastiness going on here. I don't know what, what, what you call this. We have yellow spores trying to repel us. But look! They're shooting at us and thinning our forces, but we overtook it. We'll enter the planet and claim it as our own. These guys took a roundabout way to get here. Thanks for coming a little bit late to the party, boys and girls. But I now have the ability to plant defensive trees. Um, so the tree limit is per asteroid and is going to determine what you can plant there. Um, but you can put up an offensive tree, or I guess it's really production. I like to call it offensive because it's making more units for attacking, but, um, or for traveling, but you can put up defense. I'll put up a defense. Um, we've got a defense tower here. Defense tree tower, whatever you want to call it. A little bit, almost tower defense, slightly, but much more RTS than tower defense. Um, because there's nothing really moving through, there's no waves or anything, but just kind of in the sense that you are planning different things. I guess it's fully RTS. Um, but, we'll put two, uh, two defense towers here. Use this as kind of our defending base and then see they've all chosen to plant themselves on this side kind of as a nice little family trio over here as opposed to some of these are all spread out and, and like i said totally different every time you do this um, i am going to start again moving units forward we'll capture this little planet here i thought i already had but apparently i did not because i didn't plant any trees there yet so we'll put, put three guys there um, and we'll, we'll basically use this big one as our kind of base of operations defensively We'll have all our producers back here funneling units to this big guy, big gorilla Bob in the center, center of your screen. Um, let's see how many we got mass. We got 105 already. I think if I just keep moving these, <laughs> keep putting them towards it, we will do pretty well. All right, so it's a 
game that I like to play for one mission, you know, and then I said, like I said, go back to something else or go do something else or, you know, just finish recording a bunch of Rage and I'm, you know, eating lunch and I want to play something kind of calm and something kind of cool and something relaxing before I move forward in my day. And this really fits that well. We've got 338 little awesome guys flying around there doing doing their job, doing their best to maintain the asteroid. We're going to send, I'm actually not going to send all of them. That would be kind of silly. So I'll send 94 that way and I'll send uh, a couple more, 90 some more that way. Take care of three at once. I'm not meeting much resistance over here. It looks like there's a couple enemies here. And this is a pod zone with the repelling defense tree. So I'm going to send more this way. Hopefully, we, get, we turned it into our own tree, which is nice. Um, and the ceilings are kind of rushing their way through there. So and now we move forth once again. And I've got um, this guy. You see, your, your sort of zone of influence expands um, as you. As you go, as you grow, and uh, right now I have to take over this little guy before I can go into the final two, which will grant us victory in the mission. This one has a, a dark hub on it, a secret hub, fighting to blow up the dark tree, which we did quickly because we have so many seeds. Infiltrate the planet with goodness and love, and turn it beautiful. And uh, as you can see, the whole screen is now turning pink. Except that, hey, they're, they're making it happen for you. And I like the, I, I think the audio is really great. It's almost like the kind of music you hear in some, some like, some shop with lots of fountains and, and rocks and things like that. But that's cool. You don't see that in very many games. Um, hardly at all. It's something I really, really think is really, uh, really pretty darn awesome. I cannot send those guys there yet, but that's why right. This force should do all right for themselves. and the disease is driving them mad so we've discovered another location which is into the wild the forest which i think could be pretty cool we'll zoom into it here just for a quick second to see what it looks like you can see they changed up color screens filter seedlings that are extra healthy stronger fast so again it's, it's getting a little bit more complicated um you know it, it does evolve i wanted to show you something early on just so you could see what the the basic gameplay is. I think if I started later, you'd be like, huh, what is going on? But that's Euphoria. It's a really awesome, really cool game. Um, and like I said, it's, I think it's definitely worth your money precisely because it offers something that nothing else out right now really offers. And it ties back to games like Flower and games like even Shatter and Pixel Junk Eden that were really, I thought, special releases um, and really, really, really well received for the people that enjoyed them and the people that gave them a fair shot. So don't go into this expecting rage or dark souls but go into it expecting something that could have an effect on you and it's really pretty and offers a, a gameplay mechanic that is fun enough to hold your interest while providing you with kind of an a menagerie of, of audio and visual beauty to uh to make it really cool and really well done guys i can't recommend this game enough don't judge it by its cover go try it for yourself on psn or pc it's super awesome i'm super enjoying it, it super surprised me as well not something that i thought to get into but in fact it really really grabbed me um, it's it's hot. That's, that's the, my best way of describing it. It's hot. It's awesome. Check out Euphoria. Thank you guys once again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And until next time, guys and girls, we will see you all later.